Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back to Prison Architect. I'm noticing a problem with my plans, and that is that all of these prisoners are going through this tiny gap here, instead of going through this main area here that I want them to go through. Now they're still going, uh, yeah, yeah. They're still going through the metal detector, which is not a big deal, but, um, yeah, can we get some help here, please? Thanks. Um, but it's, there's, it's such a narrow corridor, it's really asking for some problems. So I want them to go through here, and to make this the preferred method uh, of travel, ma to make this the preferred path, I kind of need to cut this door. So I am getting rid of this door, and I'm going to get rid of this metal detector as well. And we're going to make this just a solid wall here. And uh, if we're going to do that, we could actually just expand this a bit. But uh, like, I'm not sure how that affects the common room, because this is a pretty small common room. I'm going to let this go for now and just have this little narrow walkway here, but this is going to end up being, I think, like a staff door instead, or... Honestly, I don't even think it should be a door. If I just make it a wall, it should take care of this problem. So, I'm going to do that instead. Like that. And, um, that should encourage all the prisoners to now travel through this area instead. Looks like there's a spot missing in my materials here. There we go. So, uh, yeah, the prison's been going fairly smooth. Uh, we have a intake happening right now. There's another 10 prisoners coming in right now. And that should pretty much max me out to where I want to be. So I'm not going to take any more after that, at least for the time being. And so here we've got some more prisoners. Looks like we've got some gang members as well. Fun times. Uh, anybody I need to care about? Doesn't look like it yet. Let's get... Wait. Oh, that's a lieutenant. Okay. Whew. I'm like, why is the leader down there? No, the leader's up there. Uh, hang on. Let me see what's happening here. Yeah, we're still gonna put up... We're still gonna contest this area, so that's good. Uh, so I want to get my informants to tell me who these people are. So let's grab Aria. And we'll hopefully be able to do that in a timely manner. We're kind of short on staff here. The guards, like, the staff morale is a 99%. It's it's dropped, and I'm not sure why. I think it has something to do with 42 people having complaints. And honestly, I think the complaints are weather. It's always weather. This this warmth need, is, it's killing me right now. Where is it? Right here. The warmth need is killing me because it's always cold, and there's nothing I can do about the temperature. Like, there's just nothing I can do about it. I can't warm up the outside, right? It's just not something that you can do. So their morale is going to be lower. I mean, eight people died on duty. That sucks. But uh, yeah, there's nothing I could do other than raise their pay. And 98% is not that bad. So I think I'm going to wait uh, until it gets really bad. And then maybe I'll focus on like pay and stuff. This is not an accurate representation of how much we're making per day. I just spent a lot of money, uh, a whole bunch of repairs and things. But like... It's not a big deal. I've also expanded this area, these utilities. I expanded it up this way so that these two areas could be heated because they weren't heated. I also had to put uh, radiators in here because I didn't have... Uh, I think it was just this one. I didn't have a radiator in there. Uh, this camera needs to be hooked up. So let's see if we can't get this. Am I going to need another one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there's capacity for this. Uh... Is there capacity? Yes. So that's the last one. I'm hoping that this camera gives me view inside all of their cells. And that's how it looks. We're going to manipulate the way the camera system works to give us visual inside all of these cells. At least at some point. I have redone the, the materials for this. I've made this sand. So prisoners have to walk really slowly through here. But this is all flagstone. Through here and through here. Uh, and this is gravel here. So they have to walk slowly through here. I basically made it to where staff can move really quickly where they need to go, but like this area here is, you know, slow moving stuff. Like slow movement is what I want there. Uh, okay, so prisoners are coming through here, and now they're going out through the chapel, which is, again, not what I want. How do I get them to only take the path that I want them to take? They're not taking it. I mean, granted, this is a little bit wider. But it's still coming out in one narrow gap, and it's causing a, like, a lot of problems that way, and I don't want that. So, I think I'm actually going to have to remove this as well. Yeah, there's not really a need for it anymore anyway. 
So we're going to dismantle all this stuff. And I'm just going to make this a solid brick wall. Through here. Like that. Uh-oh. Uh Come on, slow down, slow down. What's going on? Get him. Take care of it. I'm so nervous about this. Like, there's so many prisoners in here. It's wide open space, which is fine. But, I mean, like, you need... I need adequate staff in this area at all times. And, like, I can't just tell them to be specific places. I guess I could do guard patrols. I could make sure there's at least a few guards in this general area at all times kind of thing. I could do that. One, uh... Yeah, only in Schedule 4. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of you be here. You know, and just make sure you're on the... There's at least some around this area. The rest of them can kind of wander. I suppose that's probably better, just to do patrol routes instead. Uh, yeah, we got some more gang activity happening here, it looks like. No, those, those, they're going to shower. Never mind. Well, this person's fighting. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of violence in the prison. That's what happens. Okay, so today, what I want to do is I want to get started on death row. I told you guys I'd do that in the last video. At the very end of the last video, I said, you know, for those of you who stay till the end, I like to put little things at the end of videos sometimes uh, just to kind of encourage people to stay. So anyway, uh, what I want to do is I want to get started on death row, and that is going to be right here. It's just going to be this area. It doesn't have to be super big. It doesn't have to be super elaborate. It's really not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, but uh, we're, that's, that's, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> so how this is going to work is the people who are visiting death row are going to have to come through this double door. I want everyone to come through here no matter what. Although, to be fair, the death row people are probably going to end up going through the staff door. Because they're coming down this way. That's probably what will happen. It's fine. If they come through this, they'll go through here and then here. Then out through this door. Then they're going to walk up this way to get into death row here. So, how this will work. Brick building. Or maybe we do concrete here. Because it's death row, it's a little different. Maybe we do concrete. Does that make sense to anybody? I think we're going to try that. Just to see what it looks like. If I change it, then I change it. But we'll do it like that. Then... I'm going to actually move this fence. This fence is going to come up to here instead now. Just kind of over like this, maybe. Yeah, like this is fine. Okay. I'll put another fence up this way. Just to kind of block this side just a little bit. I want mobility-ish outside for staff, but, like, I don't want... I, I don't need it, you know? I, I don't need any more mobility out here, so... Because this is going to basically be wasted land... Uh, I could build here, but, like, I want adequate spacing, so if they are going to get out, they need time to get out, you know? Uh, then, actually, you know what? Let's delete this. We don't need that one. Let's go with a perimeter wall. We're going to do another perimeter wall here. And let's do a perimeter wall. Uh, we'll start it here for now. One, two. Yeah, right through that tree. We'll start it here for now. And we'll go down to, like, let's say this way. Down here like that. What we're, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to make it really difficult for them to dig their way out of this, right? So there's going to be a double wall on this side. I can probably extend that all the way over here. I want, like, a two walkway. And then probably this way, too, so they can't do it. So, like, this is a really expensive wall. But I think it's worth it. So one, two, wall is here. And then I'll just go out to there for now. So there's a lot of stuff for the workmen to get on. I think temporarily I'm going to hire a bunch more. So like some temporary staff just to kind of help out with it. Uh, so this fence, I kind of want this to be a priority for now. So that we can get this fence up and running. And then once that fence is done, we're going to take and demolish this fence right here just that little bit then we'll have a remote door here uh, we're going to want to have a door servo on that remote door there and a pressure pad on this side here and we'll do I think double remote doors on this side like this so we'll have another remote door here actually 
So let's just go ahead and put that in place right now. Remote door there. Okay. So they'll get on that. There's a lot to do. And while they're doing that, I want to see if this idea here worked. Now I need to probably... I'm going to demolish this wall because there's no point in it existing anymore. So we'll get rid of that. Could probably turn this back into grass, actually. It doesn't really need to be flagstone anymore over here. So we can just kind of maybe turn that back into grass. Uh, there. That. Or, yeah, this too. This could be grass. This whole area here should be grass. And now they're coming through this way, which, like, like I cannot get them to come through here, can I? It doesn't matter what I do. They're going to just come this way. I guess if I... Let me see which way they exit out of, right? Because if they're going to go through this anyway, they're going to go through metal detectors that direction. But if I get rid of this door, then they have to go around, which is probably better for them to go all the way around like this. Let's do it. I want I want this to be a thing. I want, I want them to go through large walkways, not narrow ones. Let's make that a priority for now. And we will get a brick wall put in here. That'll be a thing. Okay, look. Now they're coming from here out this way. That's what I want them to do. Because this is a faster walkway. It's wider, so they don't have to be quite as cramped. And they can just get out and get where they need to be. So it's kind of encouraging them to do that. This is a problem. There's no guards in here right now. Let's slow this down a bit. Gangs are starting to take over. Yep. I. Where are my guards? Why aren't they in here? What is happening here? Why? Oh, I, I messed with the room. Oh, I opened it up. That's why. Shit. Get in there, guys. It's because I opened this up. It, it messed with the deployment. Hang on. Oh, they're going to take it over. There's nothing I can do about it. Get in there, guys. <laughs> when you open it up, it messes with it. I don't want it to be messed with. Come on. Get in there, guards. I just need a couple more. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Contest that. Come on. Come on. That's five. That's five. Good. We got it. Whew. That was close. <laughs> uh, somebody told me... Oh, what's this? Ooh, is she up for parole? Oh, this is going to be a bad, though, because she's not going to get it. Yeah, 97%. She's not going to get it. So probably this is going to be a problem, I think. Uh, uh-huh. She's going to act up. We're going to need to be prepared for that. Oh, dear. Hopefully she doesn't act up, but this guard does not have a taser. So that's a problem. I need to get you, sir. You. Can you come in here, please? Uh, you're on break, so you won't do it. Let's get you in here, too, please. I want a couple of you guys in here. So that when she fails her reform program, I can't really... You know what? Here. Let's do this for now. Temporarily, we'll do this. Just to bring more in here. Because I have a feeling she's going to freak out when she doesn't get her parole. She's volatile, so like that could totally make her kick off. I want to know why these doors aren't opening very quickly. Like, this is a... Oh, you know what? I bet this isn't... There we go. It's not hooked up to the pressure pad. That's probably why. I want another pressure pad here, actually. Um, I want another one. Right here. And this one is going to open this door. So when they want to go this way... They don't have to wait for the door servos anymore. They don't have to wait for the, the door controllers over there. I don't, sh I don't know if mail is working. There's an awful lot of undelivered mail here. I think mail is starting to get glitched out again. Which is a real shame. Because, like... Yep, she acted up, but we got her. Took care of it. Only injuries, not deaths. Good. Whew. That was a close one. That was a close one. Also, my regime is... My this is totally messed up too. Like all my schedules, my deployment stuff, it just keeps getting messed up into the cell. And like, I don't want it to be that, but they keep doing that. It's weird. Don't like it. So this is working really well, by the way. You guys might have like, maybe want an update on this. This is working really well. These guys start shooting tasers into these cells 
um, like they start acting up, they start shooting their tasers from here into these cells. And sometimes they even get them unconscious before they even have to like worry about it. A lot of times though, some of the guards will be on their way in here. Uh, where's that coming from? Where's it coming from? I want to know. It seems like it might be okay. Anyway, um, another reason why I want them to walk through here is because it, it, these guards can instantly respond, right? They're right here. So they can respond really quickly. But, uh, hold on. What is this? Oh, right. The being punished, of course. Stop. Hey. Ah! Uh, a couple of comments also regarding this. Uh, maybe you guys didn't see the last series, so that's why you're doing this. But uh, you're saying that uh, instead of just forgiving the punishment for the gang leader, what I should do is put is punish all of the gang members too. And it's like, okay, there are 18 gang members, and you want me to, without pausing, of course, because there's no pause, you want me to track down all of the gang members that are in that gang, uh, which right now would be convenient because they're all in one spot, or like a lot of them are in one spot, but like, you want me to track down all of them and, and do what? Send them to solitary? Put them in lockdown? That's going to require my guards to actually go and do that, right? Like, it's not a feasible option. It's not a viable option. Especially when we get all, like, all three leaders in. You're basically telling me, oh, so when they act up, I should just, you know, go hunt and peck for all of them and punish them all. No, I'm not going to do that. Absolutely not. I'm going to forgive her punishment because that's the easiest and absolute safest way to make it happen. As well as the, um, it, it's just simply the best way to do it. Uh, another person told me that these common rooms, uh, we would like totally not have to worry about them taking over if we would just put a security office right next to it. It's like, okay. So again, not a viable option. One, I would have to remodel the prison in order to do something like that. Uh, either take this common room away, which is an option. Uh, but like, okay, how about this one? You want me to put a security office over here? I'm going to have to remove cells to do that. Uh, and then I'm also going to have to have guards staffed in there with nothing to do because the guards, the security room's influence is only really good if you actually have staff in there. So no, that's not going to work either. Uh, especially when I only need, the only thing I need to prevent them from taking over the room is to have an adequate number of staff in the room at the same time that they are, which is like right now. So if I go to gangs, uh, intelligence right here, right? Like, my, ga my guards are about to take over this this room. Very cool. No problem. When I get this regime sorted out, sorted out, there is going to be a bit more work-free time. And so that's going to give them options to want to take over the room um, like a bit more often. But I think actually what I might do is do a work lockup right here. Yes. I'm going to make that a work lockup instead of a free time slot. Uh, they can keep working, but they'll go to lockup quicker. And I think that's probably better. Uh, anyway, so, like, it's a really simple problem. Just, ha like, get your schedule in place so that you have enough guards in there at the time that they're going to be in there. And that's it. Like, done. You don't have to remodel your prison. You don't have to make new rooms and have people sign there. It's like, like, what are you, I know, I'm not going to do that. I mean, granted, sure, if I had thought about that ahead of time when I'm making my prison, then I could have been like, oh, we'll have all the common rooms and at the security offices. Then, okay, yeah, sure, that would work. But, like, at this point in time, no, it's, it's, com it would require a complete remodel. I'm not going to do that. Okay, so this stuff is kind of messed up. So we're going to lock this open. We're going to lock this open for now. Because we need to run power into this room too. And there's going to be a lot of power, but that's okay. We have a lot of capacity here. And the reason I've left a lot of capacity here is because this is where uh, death row begins, right? We're going to be doing death row up here. Uh, so the cells are going to be along this edge. This puts them the furthest possible point away from all of this stuff, right? Then we have a staff only area that I'm going to make right here. And we're going to do that by just putting a staff door here for now. So one staff door here will make this a staff only walkway, which it already kind of is. But we'll just go ahead and do that now. This is a staff room. And then from the staff room, they'll be able to get into this area. So we're going to start by planning this out a bit. The, the death row cells are going to accommodate one, two, three. Uh, let's do three by three. I think three by three. They could be the same as these, right? Uh, we need to have a lot of their needs and stuff kind of met in these cells, but I think it's probably okay to do that. Uh, the problem is, though, is that I'm going to need a walkway. So how about we go, like... Hmm, yeah. How about we start it a little different, then? We'll start it, like, over here. One, two, three, like that. 
So the, the, the staff will be able to walk in like they need to. Uh, we're going to go all the way to the end here, I think. Uh, not We're going to leave a space here because I think I want to have a walkway here too. If I can afford it. Let me see. That and like that. I don't, I don't really think I need more than this many cells. We're not going to have more than three death row inmates in at one time. It, that almost never happens. I'm going to do four. I'm gonna I'm gonna lock, lock space out for four, I guess, or like designate space for four. I can actually move this over one because that, that would make it more uniform. So let's do that instead. So this is space for four cells. One, two, three, wall. One, two, three, wall. One, two, three, wall. There you go. So that's space for this many cells, which is good. And it looks like that's gonna line up with the lights, like almost perfectly with the lights, which is nice. Put a light. Uh, it already is. Yeah, this is gonna line up perfect with the lights. So I like it. Cool. Okay, so let's get started on the build. We're gonna take the brick walls, and I'm just gonna make two cells for now. I don't need to make more than that. Two cells right here. That's what we're gonna make. Uh, they're gonna have remote doors because they're the strongest doors here and here. And of course, we'll be doing servos as well here and here. Let's also get these hooked up. So we'll connect it to this, and this one gets connected to this. So walking into this doesn't require any guard input, but walking out of it absolutely does. Okay, so, and these snipers can cover this area too. So if one of these guys does try to walk out this way, they can't walk out like too far. Like it's gonna be hard for them to get out too far. This can actually go, this fence is kind of not required. But I'm going to leave it just to give them one extra barrier to get out, right? I want them to have to struggle to get out if they want to escape. And they're going to have to walk in front of these sniper towers. So we're going to leave it just because. Uh, okay, so this room, and I think we're done, right? Yes, death row is done, which means we have access to our little chair. Our friendly chair, we have access to it. Where is it? Right. Oh... Uh, if I just type in chair, is that enough? Snitch sorter, electric chair, here it is. The electric chair costs 5,000 bucks. And we're gonna put it in the middle of the room. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then here. So this is where it's gonna be, right there. Okay. Then, in the materials, we're gonna do the reinforced metal flooring, which makes no sense for a <laughs> for an electric chair, but we're gonna do it anyway. Makes no sense, but we're gonna surround this with the reinforced metal flooring because we can. Uh, then we're gonna have the I don't know I don't know what I want to do for the rest of the floor, so I think I'll just do the wood floor for now for everything else. So the rest of it will just be wood because why not? I guess doesn't matter. Uh, and then this is going to be the wall. So we'll have the wall be here. Uh, I kind of don't know where I want the door to be. So for now, I'm just going to do this because I'm not sure where I want the door. But this is going to mark where I want my wall at least. Which, I mean, the planning lines already do. But whatever. We're, we're one step ahead of it. That's fine. Okay. Reinforced metal flooring. We could do that. Uh, let's do it here. So there. And then all through here. And then all through here. Do I want this to be fast walking? I don't think so. Actually, I kind of want this to be slow. The rubberized concrete makes more sense through here, right? Because it's slow moving. You know what? Let's do the rubberized concrete here because it, it makes it slower movement. I think that's important. Okay. So we're getting that started. These doors need to be locked open for now. There we go. We also need power run through here. So... Let's get the door servos. Not the door servos. What am I doing? Electrical cables. Here we go. This is going to run along this wall to here. It's going to connect as a loop. This is going to run up this way. And what we're going to do is we're going to have... Let's have the electrical lines actually run all the way across here. Now, what I want to do... This is all powering the lights in this room, right? And that's fine. But there's something I need to do here. And that is... Uh, I'm going to put this electrical cable to be like this, I think. That should allow this to power all these lights. But right here, all the way to here, this cable is going to run this way. And then on this wall right here, we're going to have a power switch like that. So if we're not doing death row stuff, 
we can flip the power off. We don't have to have the chair powered. The chair takes a lot of power. These lights, nothing, but the chair takes a lot of power. So we're gonna do that. How are we doing down here? What is this? This actually is not a false alarm. So let's actually search the cell block and see if we can find anything going on in here. That's not a false alarm. There's enough flags here to where I believe you, dog. In fact, you know what? We should probably just do a shakedown. But I want to find the tunnel before I start the shakedown. Because I want them to focus on this first. See if we can find this tunnel. That's definitely a tunnel. There we go. There we go. We found you. We got you. That's right. Okay, cool. We can do a regular shakedown now. While everyone's sleeping and stuff. We can get this tunnel taken care of. Nice dogs. Good job. Well done. I love my doggies. Don't be messing with my doggies. My, noggy, my doggies are really, really good at what they do. Finding those tunnels, man. Really good at it. All right, we could probably hook these up. I think, actually, these this, this, this is outdoor. I think I actually need to make the cable go like this because it's outdoor. I might be wrong on that, but I think that's what that needed. And then come down to the door controller. Really? You found another tunnel? Ooh, more tunnels. Well, hello, hello. Uh-huh. How many more tunnels would be fine? Let's just get rid of all of them. There's Yeah, it's this big long one right here. Okay, then. <laughs> Good to see you, too. That's nice. Okay, now this is going to be... We're, we're going to do a little bit more stuff in here to... Uh-oh. Hang on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shoot your tasers. Shoot your tasers. No, don't let her kill you. She's actually extremely strong and tough, but she's not an expert fighter or anything. Yeah, there we go. Shoot through there. She's not an expert fighter or anything, so she shouldn't be a problem. The other one, I don't know if you guys saw this, because I wasn't sure if I was recording. It was when I was messing with this area, and I'm not sure you saw it, but the other one that we had, we had three. We have two now. The other one um, started acting up when I had Free Fire on, and uh, she started to attack staff as soon as they walked into Taze, and like this guy was patrolling right through here and just blew her head off, basically. Just one shot, bam, done. She was dead. And like I don't like that, but um, it is what it is. So like that's what happened to her. So basically, right now we have a couple of volatile people, but they're not like expert fighters or anything. So we um, hopefully they won't kill any staff. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Okay, so that's getting done. So, oh, hang on. This one's a fearless tough. This one is. A skilled fighter, which is bad. But we got him taken care of. That's good. More up here? Really? All right, now. Let's calm down. It's going to be fine. Just, you know, do your things. Lots of trays here. Not sure about, like, why there's so many trays. I think I'm going to take no more staff in the kitchen and turn this staff only. Um, it's going to cost me more for staff, but I think the reason why they're not cleaning this... Oh, shit. This guy's on break. Now, if he's on break, does he have the sniper rifle still? It says he's carrying a rifle. So, yeah, he's on break walking through where all the prisoners are going to be. That's stupid. This is bad. Can we get some help here, please? There we go. Yeah, get down here and help him out. You're crying and screaming. Well, then stop acting up. Then you don't have to worry about it, do you? Man, oh man. This is getting dangerous, guys. Real dangerous. This is eat time. Let's staff a few more in here. It's getting real dangerous. Dog patrols, I think I want you guys... To, I don't think I want the dogs to patrol through here. And I'm going to put two dogs in here during eat time. And we're probably going to have to hire more dogs in order to do that. So let's hire, like, four more dogs. Let's hire, like, a few more guards... And actually, there's a lot of injuries happening. I'm going to hire, I think, one more doctor. Uh, let's hire a couple more cooks as well. So we're just going to max out our staff pretty much. Like, as much as I'm willing to spend on staff. Okay, hang on. The gang leader's being punished. Get right here. Ah! Uh, lockdown and end. Good. Bring the danger level down now. Please. Drop. Decreasing is what it says. Good. Staff morale is high. What is it? 
50 staff have serious complaints. And you know what? I'm willing to bet that complaint is warmth still. No idea how to properly address that. It's just impossible. Like, I cannot make the outside warm, and it is never warm. It is always cold. I don't know if I just drew the short stick or what, but it is always cold on this map. The warmest I've seen it is 20, and that was very, very, like, really, really quick. It didn't last. It lasted, like, a day, and that was it. Prisoner needs are actually pretty high. Huge family need. What's going on here? We've got a whole bunch of phones. We should be using them. And, like, visitation is still a thing, right? You guys get visitors over here. But I suppose, like, it's visitation is really far away. I probably don't have a big enough visitor room. We have 23 families waiting to visit. I think I need a bigger family room. So where would I even put that? I mean, I'd like to put it as the holding cell, but this holding cell is good. What about the common room? What about this common room here? Maybe we let the prisoners come in through here, but it's not very big. Maybe I should have made this the visitor center instead of a chapel. This is tough. Where would I even put that? Uh, I mean, there's not a whole lot of room for another visitor center. I might be able to maybe move the warden's office. Maybe I can make, like, get rid of this common room and, like, move the warden's office here, maybe, and then have this be reception so that this could be a, this could be, like, extending the visitation room. Hmm. I don't like that idea, though. I think the chapel's too large, but they actually do use it, and they use it a lot. So, it can't justify it. Maybe, like, this is a small chapel, though. And I don't want visitors coming through here. Like, I want them to, like, yeah, come through here, go where you're supposed to go, and then leave. And why are they doing that? Why not come through here? I don't get it. It's so much faster. You, you went this way. Like, gross, man. Is it because these are two jail doors? This is a staff door, but, like, I think it's just because there's one extra door. Well, I'm not going to change it, but I do want... I think I need more families to be able to visit. And then we've got 22 people up for parole. We need to get another parole room, too. I think maybe what I need to do... This is, like, the perfect location for both of these things. I could have, like, a parole and visitation suplex here. But I'd have to move the offices, which we can do. We can move that up here. The offices can be up here. I think we do that. I think we move the offices up here. And um, the holding cell can probably stay where it is, but it doesn't need to be as big as it is. It can be, like, a lot smaller. And then the common room can go away. We turn this into, like, a visitor center, parole center area, right? We can leave these where they are, or we can get rid of these, replace them with these instead, which I think they're not quite big enough, right? planning objects this is five by five which is what they have to be these offices are all four by four but there's an extra wide walkway here so we could do a five by five office we could do five by five rooms if we wanted to through here we can get rid of this we can move this whole structure up here i think that's what we need to do that's going to be my next project, I think. I, I think we should do it right now, actually. I think I'm going to take this area, which is basically wasted, and turn it into... Um, uh, how much how much room do I need here? We go walls. Uh, hang on. Now, do I want to get this settled first before I do that? I don't think so, actually. I think this is more important. Um, if I go like this with my building... If I go like this with my building... Uh, we can bring it all the way down here, actually. Uh, then I go one, two, three, four, wall. One, two, three, four, wall. So this is one office. Um, we can go one, four, so walls. This is two offices. This isn't quite big enough, but if I use that wall, I could probably get it to be big enough, right? One, yeah. 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Slightly bigger than it needs to be here. So maybe we can go, how many offices do we have? Six, right? Yeah. Six offices. So we just need to do the same thing down the other side. So really this can be one step in, move this wall to here, move this wall to here, and you have yourself a nice office area. So that's three offices here. Then do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, four, wall, right? That takes care of the six offices we need. We have a, a big walkway we could go through here, which is kind of nice. This could work. This could work. And we, I mean, we won't have this reception desk thing, which like whatever, it's kind of cool. I, I liked it, but it doesn't, it's not necessary. Uh, or we could even, we could even still do the reception area. We could actually bring this out down like this, have the reception area be right here. Like the receptionist desks. Hi, can I, how can I help you? And then up, you know, and the only thing that would be different is they'd have to come through here, come through the storage room, which is kind of like, not very, it's not really like, I mean, it's a staff area, so it's not like visitors are really coming here, but hey, I want to talk to the warden. Okay. Well, you have to go through the staff room. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's kind of I, I like this because you could go through the the main entrance and then through these two double doors and you can see the warden's office right away. But um, at the same time, like this space is really kind of it's better suited for another purpose. But like, how do I get it to where visitors can come through here? I could use this. This is pretty well protected. I don't think prisoners are going to get through here. So I could use this as a door. And then up, they could go up this way and then through here, right? We could get rid of the fencing here. We could do that. Let's put a fence here to like protect the, you know, protect the power plant, right? Put another one here. Uh, we'd have to go up one. Nah. I would like to do that, actually. Protect this around like this. But I can't do it on this side. So it's kind of pointless. If you can't do it on all sides, then why do it at all? Plus, there's a walkway here I kind of like. But we'll do it on this side, though, because why not, I guess? Uh, we could take a staff door through here. There's a lot a prisoner would have to get through if they wanted to go through this, right? So... I think this is what we're gonna do. Let's let's go ahead and build this. Uh, we want building brick, and we're gonna build this building. Um, like this. Let's do it like this, and then like this, and then we'll make a nice grand entrance, if you will, with a double staff door. Because why not? Uh, here and here. I don't know if I even rotated those doors correctly. Probably didn't. Looks like the handles are on the same side, but my hope is that they open like that. We'll move the offices up here. And then we'll have this be a visitor's area as lo along with parole. And prisoners can come out this way to go to parole. And then this will get changed out to where it's not parole anymore. Uh, I, I think the reason why the mailroom doesn't work, honestly, is because it's facing outdoors. I, I think that's what's causing this. Because this is all outside, I think, right? Or no? I think this is all outdoors. If I try to do a surface that's only good indoors, it doesn't let me do it. Which means this is not indoors. So what I need to do is to have foundation be like this. I think if I make this indoors, I think that changes things. I think that makes this work because this is not working anymore. In the last series, our mail rooms never worked. And I think that's why, because we always had them in a separate building like that. So I'm going to give that a shot and see if that works. If that changes anything. Uh, while they're doing that, we could get some of these cells organized, I guess. We could go with like a bed. We can maybe make the bed like, eh, we could put it alongside. Why not like this? Toilet could be near the back. Kind of like this. Uh, and then... Oh, where's the utility running? Oh, Jesus. 
Oh my gosh, this this water piping thing is gonna freaking kill me, man. I hate having to adjust it every single time. Uh, we're gonna go around, I guess. I just don't want it through the cells. So we'll go around this way with it. And then we'll have to cut the utility through here. Like, it's just, it's killing me, man. Every time I want to do something, it just... It always puts the big pipe, like, right underneath where I'm going to go. Uh, let's see. I want to... I think I want a phone in here. Although, like... I don't really... No, actually, I don't want a phone in there. Um, we're going to put showers, of course. And we'll have those be like this. With a drain underneath it. And we'll have also the... Radiator. Underneath that. Then we're going to want cameras, and I don't really need them to be in a very, like, I don't need them to be in a very specific spot, but, like, if I put the camera here, that will cover all four of these cells, so we're going to put a camera there. Uh, then, I think I want a weight bench in here. Yeah, right there and here. Uh, we're going to put, we're going to give them a chair. Actually, let's put the weight bench somewhere else. If I put the chair here... Eh. If I, let me give him a bookshelf right here next to the bed. We'll give him a weight bench instead of the chair. That's fine. And then we'll give them, um, I guess it's kind of a weird spot for, I, I don't know, maybe a radio, I guess. Or maybe not a radio. Maybe nothing. Maybe we give them nothing else. Maybe this is all they get. I think a prayer mat, though. Yeah, let's give him a prayer mat. We could put it next to the toilet. Or next to the bed like this. We could do that. And then um, maybe the radio can go next to the toilets. Hold on, I see staff being attacked. Where? Is it you? No, you're relaxing. I like how often you relax. It's very nice. I like your relaxing. It's good. It's very good. Oh, here we go. They're going to go after this. They're always after this common room. It's like, dude, they never go after any of the other ones. They just don't care about the other ones, I guess. Uh, if we have intake, we need to have death row cells available. So these are going to get turned into being designated as, as death row cells. But we're going to need a variety of different things. We need their own parole room. We need its own kitchen. And um, that's pretty much all we really need. I think this room is like, I think this is too much space, honestly. I don't think I need this much space, uh, but I'm going to do it anyway. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, we're going to have, we already have a staff room here, right? This is really conveniently located. We already have a staff room here. I don't think death row even gets yard time. I don't think. I have to have a cell designated for death row first. So let's get uh, rooms cell here. And then we want the deployment for that cell to be death row only in this area. So now that we have death row only, we should be able to... No, we have to, have to actually have a prisoner before we can do that. Okay, well, we're going to jack this up. And we're going to say one per day. But if we want to close it, if we want to close intake, we'll just leave this all the way back. Uh, but we're going to do... We're going to say we want, like, five per day. And we can do that. And we can get five. Or we can get, you know... You know, five of these guys or whatever, but we can, we just say we want this, so let's bring that to three anyway. That way, if there's a death row, if there's a death row inmate available, they'll still come in, but uh, we won't get anyone else. I really need more visitation. I think this is a good idea. So we'll get this done and then we'll end the episode here. So brick wall. Let's do brick wall like this. I'm going to have to move that light. It's fine, I guess. It is what it is. Uh-huh, like that. They're not really, like, the doors aren't really in a s square space, if you will. But it's fine. I, I, It'll be fine. Yeah. We'll move that. Symmetry people just don't cringe. It'll be fine. Uh, okay, so this is where all the walls are being built. That's good. Can we remove the planning lines here? That's not a big deal. And then... 
we'll start putting in all of this stuff down there. So we could just take the clone tool. Let's grab the, let's grab everything like this from wall to wall. And we'll do it like this and then like this and then like this. That's going to adjust where the doors are going to be, but like I'll fix it by putting the walls where they're supposed to be. Uh, I can't do that with the other cells or the other offices because they're facing the different orientations. So I'm going to have to manually make these, but that's not a big deal. So office desk, we'll just kind of go on this side like that. Office chair like that. And then a filing cabinet, which will go like here. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, we'll just we'll just do this. I'm not gonna worry about the cloning because it's just take me less time just to plop it in. Uh, office chair, like that, that, and that's good. So that's like the that's good. Like that's all the offices we need, right? So, and look, they're already making the walls the way they're supposed to be anyway, so it's fine. All right, staff doors. We'll just go like this, like this, and like this. And then we'll make the walls go in like that. And then we'll move all the offices. All the staff will have their offices moved. Which will be really great. We'll do the carpeting. We'll do like all those looks and stuff. And then we'll tear all this stuff down. And it'll be a nice big new visitor center. Ooh, boy. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, if you like this episode, be sure to you know show your support. Give it a thumbs up and stuff. Uh, if you'd like to comment, maybe you could uh, comment on your thoughts on what we could do with this extra space. Because I think we're probably way, way overdone on the space here. Uh, maybe I'll only go put a wall here and that'll be the end of it. And then the rest of this can be like, I don't know, another common room or something. I don't know. Um, I, we could do more cells, but it's no, we're never going to have that many uh, inmates. So... You can subscribe if you're not already. Check out the links in the description for how you could support more videos in the future on Patreon as well as, um, you know, the Discord server, which is totally free and it's awesome and you should totally join. I'm Charlie. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.